Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about completing our Week 2 Scenario 1 assignment. So I've already downloaded the needed files for this particular scenario and the next scenario to my default location for all my Photoshop assignments. And so let's go ahead and get started. So for Scenario 1, a friend has asked you to add text and color to a picture of her daughter from a recent ballet recital. She wants to frame it for her daughter's room. So we're going to open up the ballerina.psd file. We're going to rename the layer to Jenny. Let's see how we do that. So let's go ahead and open up our Photoshop. I'm going to go up here to File. I'm going to go to Open. And from here, I'm going to go into my Week 2 folder. Then inside of my Scenario 1 folder, I'm going to find the ballerina.psd file that I downloaded, and I'm just going to double click it. It tells us the next thing to do is rename the layer to Jenny. Let's go back on over here to Photoshop. Now the way we rename a layer is we go up here to the toolbar, and we're going to click on Layer, and we're going to select Rename. Now once you have selected Rename, over here where you have the Layer Properties, this is where you can type in the new name. Once you've done that, just go ahead and click in the box, and now that layer is renamed. We're next told to select the Paint Bucket tool, and on the Options bar, set the Tolerance to 10. It also gives us a note, the Paint Bucket tool is located under the Graduant tool. You might have to click and hold the Down button for a moment for it to show up. Let's go ahead and see how we do that. Part of this download for this assignment includes a short tutorial on how to find or how to get the missing paint bucket tool if it's not present. So go ahead and open that up and you'll see that it's part of the graduant tool which is right here. Now I've already been using this tool so now I have the paint bucket. Currently I'm showing the paint bucket but I can get back to the default view just by clicking on this and selecting the graduate tool. Now that's the tool you should see if you've not used the paint bucket tool before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this again and I'm going to select the paint bucket tool. Now notice up here in the taskbar I get the paint bucket tool. Now once we do have the paint bucket tool and the options bar in place we're going to set the tolerance to 10. Let's see how we do that. So this is our paint bucket, and this is our paint bucket bar. And you'll notice that we have a block in here that we can adjust the tolerance. So I'm going to back off that 32, which is the default, and I'm just going to set that for 10. I just clicked on the toolbar for that setting to take effect. Next, we're going to select the Set the Foreground Color tool and select a vibrant color in the color picker. Now I'm just going to go ahead and follow along here with what they have. I'm not going to go crazy, but that doesn't mean that you can't. If you don't like that green color, you can change it to blue, you can change it to pink, you can change it to any color you want using the color picker. Now once you choose the paint bucket and you choose to change the foreground color, over here you're going to have the option to choose your color. Let's do that again. Over here, you're going to have the option to choose a color. So you can choose any color in this palette that you want, and you can choose a different color or palette just by changing the graduate scale, moving it up or down. Now I've chosen the color green here. And that's going to be the color that I'm going to change this background to. Now before you can change the background color of a layer, you've got to go over here and you've got to ensure that the layer named Jenny is actually selected. Right now I have it selected. If you don't see that black border going around the layer, that means it's not selected. Now once you have your color chosen from the color picker and you have your layer selected, you will have access to the paint bucket. Once you have that done, just click inside and you'll notice that that layer 
changes color. Step number six, we're going to select the view tab. We're going to enable a new guide and we're going to set a vertical guide to the three inch mark. Then we're going to select a horizontal guide to the half inch mark. Now let's see how we do that. So up here in my toolbar, I'm going to click on view. I'm going to go down here to the bottom and I'm going to click on where it says new guide. Let's do the vertical guide first. So I'm going to go ahead and select the option for vertical and I'm just going to highlight everything in here and I'm going to type in the number three, give it a space and for inches I'm just going to type in IN. I'm now going to press OK. Notice that my vertical line appears. Let's go back on up to view. Let's go to the new guide and this time we're going to select a horizontal line and I'm going to position that one half inch down. So I'm going to highlight this, type in 0.5 space IN. I'm now going to click OK. Now notice that I have my two guidelines in place on the image. Step 7, select the type tool. Set the font family to an acceptable readable font, the font size to 14, and the font color to black. So let's see how we do that. Now this is our font tool over here in our toolbar. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. If I right click on it, I can get the horizontal type tool. That's what we want. I'm going to go ahead and select that option. Now up here at the top, you see that we have the type tool option bar. I'm going to go ahead and select the font size to 14. I'm going to go ahead and select the color to black. And we'll go ahead and just leave the font and the other options as they are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to copy and paste Jenny's recital like so. I'm going to go back on over here to my Photoshop. And now I'm just going to make a text box right here like so. I'm going to highlight everything that's inside of that box. I'm going to delete it like so. I'm then going to right click inside the box and I'm going to paste. And I can adjust where I want this to be just by messing around with that corner of the text box. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to go back over to my assignments and I'm going to grab the next two words that I need which is a celebration. Copy that, take it back on over to my Photoshop and inside the text box I'm just going to right click and I'm going to paste. One last thing that I want to do is just go ahead and highlight the text and I'm going to tell it to center the text inside of the box. I'm going to move the box over just a little bit, center it there, and we're good to go. To remove the text box, you can go over to your toolbar and once again you can click on the paint bucket or any of these tools and you'll have a clean image of Jenny's Ballerina Recital and your assignment should now be completed. Now the next thing it tells us is to save the file as myballerina.jpg and close the file. Let's go ahead and do that. Back inside my Photoshop, I'm going to go up here to File. I'm going to go to Save As. And up here inside of my Scenario 1 folder for my Week 2, I'm going to pull this down here. And I'm going to select JPEG, just like that. And I'm going to save this as a ballerina.jpg. I'm going to go ahead and do a save. I'll go ahead and accept the defaults. And now if I go up into my folder location for this assignment, I can verify that I have that ballerina.jpg. I can double click it. And there it is. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about completing our Week 2 Scenario 1 assignment. If you got questions, you got concerns, don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.